Oh my god, I blistered it. We're back. What is up, Perfectly Average Golfers? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Woodfin Ridge. We're having a lot of fun out here today. Uh, the first part, we shot a six over in the front nine. We missed a couple of the chances in the short game. We also missed a lot of greens and regulations, so we were playing a lot on the short game. But still, plus six is fantastic. Uh, we kind of went into this course playing the tips at 7,100 yards. The rating's like a 74.8. We said, hey, if we can get around 85, that'd be fantastic for where our handicap is right now. So at the moment, we're on par to do that. We got uh, the whole 10 coming up here. 450, par four. Looks like it's pretty much dead straight on. We are playing the tips as mentioned. It's the gold tee box out here at Woodfin Ridge. And no, I've never played played here before so this is a fresh look for me and we're just out here having a lighthearted day and just trying to hit the ball straight <laughs> so we got driver let's see if we can do all those things have fun and hit the ball straight let's go come back a little bit oh there it is yeah it stayed just right at the trees i think it may have bounced left but i caught that middle of the face no spin Playing for a bit of a fade because that's what we had all through the front nine. Caught a small correction right there and it went dead straight. So, all right, such is life. Hit it, find it, hit it again. It's kind of the story of golf in a nutshell. Let's go get it. All right, weird shot here. About 200 yards. I've got an, I've got an alleyway. I'm gonna punch this four through these two trees. That's the hope. God, this is gonna be cool if it works. Oh, it's, that's fine. It's not where we wanted to go, but it's fine. Yeah, we'll have a look. But from there, not much we could do with it. Played it through the wrong angle. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to go through the smaller gap, but good thing we didn't. It didn't work out exactly as intended, but the result is actually really nice. 73 yards here. Gonna take about a half swing with the 58. Helping win. Gotta get it back to this pin. That's about it, really. Let's find out. That is very short. Well, speed is everything. That was such a bad shot. We left that 20 yards short. Got to get it up a second plateau. And I think it's going to come right to left when I come up it. So I got a line in mind. Just got to hit the right speed here. Tough putt. Got to get it close. Not, not good. Not, not ideal. <laughs> I had a putt kind of like that on the first part that I hit way too hard. So I think I kind of got in my own head about that. It's a tough bogey putt right here. Eee, not how we wanted to start, but that's what we got. Let's go at it. Ooh. Not how you want to start, but that's what we got. Gets us to plus eight overall. Not gonna think about it. Again, we're having fun. As you mentioned in the first part of the intro from there, we're not looking to go out there and play the same kind of round we did at Cleghorn and we did at Mount Mitchell, never having played this course before and just kind of enjoying the day. That's what it is. On to the next. All right, we got a front pin location here for this par three, playing 190, wind off the right. We're going with five hybrid. Nice smooth swing here. Let's get something up there. Give ourselves a look to get one back. Oh, it's pushed. Ah, not ideal. Just push it straight out there. I know this is a tough start for all you new viewers. Stick with me. We put together some really solid holes on the front part, so we can do that again. Just have to get up and down here, get the thing, get this whole back nine moving, get it rolling, get it flowing, you know, things like that. All right, we ended up perfectly pin high. It was just pushed right, like I said. So now we gotta get up and down, and we really need to get this up and down. We need to get a par here for sure. Gonna land this thing. It looks like it wants to go up the hill a little right to left. Got it right of the flag stick. About three, four paces on. Oh, it's gotta go. Oh, that's gonna work out great. Yeah, a little short than I wanted, but that works out. We got a par look. Bruh. Oh. Straight. That's tough. I had the grain pushing that back to the hole, but it didn't want to. It was a good putt. Can't be mad about it. It's a good putt. 
The big takeaways today are gonna be a couple of things. First and foremost, I said this to my buddy that I'm playing with here, who's kind of still learning the game, we're having fun, like I mentioned. If we get up and down looks, we need to be able to make more than we miss on the ups and downs. Because we are kind of missing opportunities when it comes to chips and putts. So that needs to be rule number one. Would have loved to have had that one. Good speed, bad read on the line. Number two, in play off the tee box. And so far, we haven't hit anything out of play yet, even on the front nine. So that's great news. Let's keep that up. Okay, tough double into a bogey, but the game is getting there. We're getting it there. Next hole, par four. Dog leg to the left a little bit. Super down the hill off this opening tee shot. 360. Uh, so I could hit three wood here and just play towards the bunker, but I kind of want to take driver. Just for some reason, this just looks like driver. So I'm going to go with the more confident approach in my mind. Take driver and go right towards that bunker. Lots of space to miss right if we do miss. So here we go. Oh God. We'll go look for it. I think I just heard some tree plinko too. So God, that's bad. All right, there's white stakes over here to the right. So we're taking a drop just off the cart path. Got 115 left, got 54. Gonna do a play about a three quarter shot. Try to control this, put some spin on it. Let's see, hitting three up and down for par here. That's so bad. All right, it's time to focus up. We can't be doing this anymore. It's getting a little ridiculous now. 58 degree, gotta get back there. Sit. Long and right, but it's not bad. Just gotta keep focusing on the contact, all right? Is <laughs> we have, we're having fun. I heard this uh, little thing on TikTok from somebody was just like, look, take your handicap, whatever that is, you're allowed that many number of strokes before you can start getting mad. We've hit that number. Got to start focusing in. All right, about a 14 footer down the hill. Should go left to right. Oh, I wanted to so badly. Oh my God. Wheels are coming off a little bit. It's going to take our time a little bit. Weather's cooling off. 10 steps, forget about it. Move on. We can still salvage. I know that we were looking to go 85. We would have needed to get a plus six on this back nine. And currently I think we're three over through three, four over through three. So we got some work to do here. All right, hole 13, 398 par four. Pretty much dead straight away by the look of it. We just have to be nice and smooth here. No need to try to overcook anything. A nice smooth swing will get us in a great position to get on to, then have a good birdie look. That's all we're looking for. Fairways and greens regulation from here on out. Come on. fairway let's go did i hit it well no did it go very far not really is it in play yes it is let's go all right we got about 155 maybe playing closer to 160 it looks like the pin is back and on a plateau so i'm going to take an easy eight iron here playing about a 160 number never mind the wind is helping i'm going to take the nine iron with the wind helping nice smooth swing here come on What the pull? Stay just on the lip of that bunker. I That's confusing, I don't know how I pulled that. Whoa! There you go. Damn. Told you we could play good golf. Kinda. <laughs> Louise. Hole 14, par five, 541. Down the hill, lots of elevation here on Woodfin Ridge. Again, I got this course that's recommended for me by some people that I played with at Lynx Trine back in the day, a couple weeks ago. And uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's a really pretty course. Just gotta play better. Par five, like I mentioned, got driver. Need to hit it nice and solid. I'm not gonna try to do too much with it though. All right, this is the shot right here that we get everything back together. I've got a, sh I got a look at the green. You guys won't be able to see it, but the tallest tree here to the left, it's just to the right of that. 
we're hitting a club that we typically hit left. If I can get this thing to go straight or put a little fade on it, I think the swing will be back. So seven wood, about 240 yard shot. We're back. That's gonna roll up there. I caught it a little on the low side. So it came out kind of stingery, but the fact that we didn't pull that thing immediately left is really reassuring. It's a small feel thing. We're back. This is what we are talking about. Pin high, eagle look. Come on, come on. eagle on camera how do i even edit that i don't have an edit for that i've got a birdie noise i got a par noise i don't have an eagle noise we gotta go find out i mean you guys will know but I, right now i don't know i know it looks rough sometimes stick with me we got this par three over water <laughs> this course is really pretty dude really gorgeous course um it's playing about 165 or 170 ish it looks like it's a three-tiered green and the pin is on the middle pin position which means it's on the middle plateau so we've got eight iron here Come on, follow it up. Oh yeah. We take those. Those are two great back-to-back -back sets of shots. Just nice little draw over the bunker. And it landed, I think, just short of the ridge to get onto the top side, but it didn't roll all the way down. So I think we've got a really solid look here for birdie. Eagle birdie would be incredible. I don't think I've ever done anything like that on YouTube. I don't think I've ever done that in golf before. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I don't know why I say it. I don't think I have. I know for a fact I've never done that before. So let's see if we can make that happen. Come on, come on, come on. It's pretty good. You're a reason we missed that. Come on. All right. We woke up. We chose violence. Not really. All right. I think there's three to play. I'm not even worried about score anymore. I haven't, I just entered my score into 18 birdies. Wasn't even looking at what we are in relation to par. We're just looking to play some solid golf to finish this off. Par four, up the hill and a little dog leg to the right. There's a tree that you're going to see in the, in the distance. It looks like it's right up the middle of the fairway. That's going to be the target line. We got driver. Straight. Come on. Let's go. We got this. Oh my God, I blistered it. That is so good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 185 yards to this pin. I'm gonna take a nice, easy six iron. Let's go. I think it just went over to the top of the right side of the hill. Not great, not bad. All right, if we would not have pushed this and headed a little bit the face open, it would have been really nice. Uh, this shot's gonna be a little tricky. The green wants to contour down towards the pin. So I'm looking into the fringe, up into the right of the pin. Hopefully it kind of trickles down. This is definitely, we can get this close. Let's go. Oh, it caught the lip. That's almost exactly where I wanted to play it. It was a little right, but ah, that's tough. All right, up and up for bogey. Not ideal. Got punished for a tough up and down right there. Such as life. It's a double. Two to play. Come on. We can still do it. We've made an eagle. We can do whatever the hell we want. All right, two to play. This one's a pretty big par four into the fan. 424 dead straight away. Again, there's lots of cool little elevation changes on these tee boxes to fairways that makes you feel like you're really up there. I really like this course a lot. I really recommend it if you're in the Greenville Spartanburg area. Um, driver. 
straight. Come on. Stay there. It's over there towards the cart path. We'll see. All right, tough scenes. We ended up in this bush right here. Must have cut up to the car pass, so I'm taking relief. It was unplayable. I tried to get a club head on it. Wasn't able to do it. Got about 135. Look at pitching wedge. Oh, it's right at it. Sit. All right, we got a putt. It's long. Wow, I'm surprised it went long, but it's fine. We got a putt. All right, we are a mile away from home here. I don't know if I got a bad reading or just caught a flyer or what. I'm gonna look at the camera here though so you guys can see the ball roll up. Hopefully it doesn't go too far past or too short, that'd be bad too. Slow down. It's a little wide, but it's not bad. Gave it a chance. That's all you can do is give it a chance. All right, that's a double. The thing is we've been getting a lot of putts close lately, but the thing is I've really largely been practicing six footers, 12 footers, and 20 footers. It's not often I go out there and try to find my distance for 50 plus footers. <laughs> so bad judgment of speed. The way back, it was close. I wanted to give it a little bit extra pace just to take any concern of a break out of there and let the little bit by, but that's all right. It's a double, one more to play. I don't know where I'm at relation to par, but I think we're still in the picture for 85. So if that's the case. Hey, the focus up definitely helped. Although we did still shoot two doubles on this back nine, I think, if not maybe three. So that's a little bit problematic because my camera goes a little wonky. Let's just go finish off this, uh, this course, man. It's been really fun, it really has been. One more, 522 par five. I don't know where we are in par, but I think par birdie will get us to our goal. One drive, that's all we need. Dead straight away. Maybe a little up the hill for the second shot. There's a river over to the left, but it's really not in play. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, one good shot. 260. Perfect number for the old three wood. Should be nice and easy. It should roll up there. In fact, we have a little bit of helping wind, so we're gonna take a nice, easy, smooth strike. Let's go. Go a little bit. I don't know where that rolled, but it's rolling up the hill. Didn't catch that super well. Didn't catch it super bad. We played it on the line that we wanted to. We'll see. All right. Yeah, we were short. I think it just kind of hit the ground and stopped. We got about 30, 40 yards. There are some people on the ninth green next to us that are just having a hell of a time. <laughs> goals right there. Absolute goals. Got to get close. Still have a chance for bird. Okay. That's fun. Thought for a second I almost did it. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right, bogey here on the final. Ha. Ah. Missed chances, but that's kind of the story of how the round went here. Just not really confident, not very comfortable. Just weird feel things pretty much all throughout the day. We started off having a lot of fun, and I think the biggest thing we learned is we just need to learn how to be able to turn it on and turn it off, uh, especially when we're over the ball. Gotta have fun on the course. And we did have fun on the course, and we still shot pretty well. Let's do the math, see where we ended up. So when it's all said and done, 14 over 86. Didn't quite hit the mark that we wanted to. Um, but as I was kind of kind of teasing before I revealed the final score and I just found out, I think I just need to start to learn 
and train myself on the course to be able to turn it on, turn it off very, very fast because I was looking to go out and have fun. And we did, we had a lot of fun today, but there were some holes that turned into blow up holes. I think we had five doubles total on the day today. And when we started off the back nine, the way that we did, everything in my swing just felt off. And I think a lot of that is because I never really turned it on in the front nine. Um, yeah, we played the front nine pretty darn well. Everything was up and down looks for par for the most part. And we made the majority of them. We finished six over uh, on the front side, but finishing eight over on the back, a lot of that was because of doubles and a lot of it was because we just didn't get a good feel for the club. So let's be candid, 7,100 yards is not short. It's actually one of the longest courses that I've played. Uh, so the fact that it was nearly a 75 rating and a 139 slope, this is not an easy course, a lot of it by distance. We had a lot of fun out there, we really did. I know that there were times where I started to really get dialed in and started to kind of get at myself, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. Um, and if you did, hey, sub, if you have not done so already, you know, it helps out the channel a lot. So if you enjoy the content, you like watching golf YouTube, hit us up. We try to upload twice a week. And until that point, you already know it. Make sure you stay perfectly average. Bye-bye.